Hello, yes. How is Joe Owens able to spot the agent provocateurs in the white nationalist movement? Bit of a mouthful, I don't know, but uh, how was I? Well, quite easy to tell you the truth. Well, firstly, there's a book to my left called Dead on Time, written by former armed robber John McVicker. It um, deals with the murder of Jill Dando and Barry George, who was arrested, charged and later acquitted of her murder. But McVicker brilliantly shows in the book how and why it was Barry George that murdered Jill Dando. It wasn't some Serbian hitman or some establishment hitman out to silence Jill Dando because she was about to reveal all regarding some VIP paedophile ring that went right to the top and so she was silenced and other such nonsense that abounds the internet, YouTube in particular, and books and whatever. Uh, so, in the book, McVicker brilliantly shows, it's a meticulously researched, his book is quite good. I like the map, Mr. McVicker, at the beginning, the Crown's version, Barry George's version and your version. Your version was the right one because you've got a criminal mind. And that's what I'm going to get to now. You see, John McVicker was able to see through Barry George and the nonsense Michael Mansfield was peddling. Like he says at the beginning of the book, he gives an Oscar performance, but he could see right through it. Uh, but anyway, he could see right through the nonsense that it was Barry George and how and why he did it, right? And it was similar to myself when a certain Peter Taney joined Liverpool BMP here in Liverpool, where I live, it was 205, 206. And no sooner had he joined the Liverpool branch, he's involved in uh, party activity, handing leaflets out. I'll leave the video at the end. He's handing leaflets out on Bold Street here in Liverpool, Liverpool city centre. Mm -hmm. And he's stopped and approached by police, but not your average PC plot, but police from the Matrix Firearms Unit, which is a specialist unit that deals with firearm offences here in Liverpool. So he's not just stopped and approached and questioned by PC plod, but a specialist unit. And there's a reason why uh, the police decided to use the Matrix, as they're called here in Liverpool. It was to bolster up Taney like he was the big threat that the state feared or the authorities here in Liverpool feared. And it also gave him street creds, kudos, made him look like the big fighter that the state was terrified of. Uh, and as I've said, it made him look like the big guy and people sympathised with him. It's going to take the armed police to stop you, Peter, and all the dafties fell for it because they're naive. Uh, and also, also, it was to scare away people from joining the BMP, because if you believe you're going to join the BMP, hand its party literature out and you're going to be stopped, approached and questioned by armed police. No one's going to join a political party. That uh, that sort of thing happens to all of you. Well, of course not. But also as well, when Taney continued his destructive activity in uh, Liverpool BMP, brought it down, Liverpool BMP, had a thriving branch which he destroyed. But anyway, so people then would just acquaint it with uh, Peter Taney being persecuted by the stars he pleases, Nick Griffin used to say, when in fact it was all an act between Taney and his controllers. They wanted to bump Taney up like he was the big threat and all the white nationalists fell for it because they're naive. And also, second fold, it was to deter, say, professional people from joining because you're not going to join a political party. And you've got uh, armed police on your tails, of course you know. Now, when I first watched the video you're going to watch after my tour, I looked at it and I knew something wasn't wrong. Something wasn't right, sorry. I knew something wasn't right. I've had many dealings with the Matrix here in Liverpool. It's a specialist firearms unit, like I've said. I'll also leave a screenshot of one of the dealings I've had with the Matrix. I've been arrested for several murders, tried for one and acquitted. The screenshots is where I'm on the floor. I've just been arrested for a murder, which I was later acquitted of. So I'd had dealings with the Matrix, right? That Nick Griffin hadn't. He didn't understand how that sort of specialist unit operates here in Liverpool, but I did. So when I first watched that video, I knew something wasn't right. Armed police don't go and approach 
people on the high streets handing leaflets out. They don't, and I knew something's not right here, and that's when the penny dropped. This was to boost up their spy, give them the street cred, kudos, give them the credibility, and also to scare uh, people away from joining the party for obvious reasons. And I, I spotted this. Now, I spotted it, whereas Nick Griffin didn't, because I possess skills and knowledge Nick, Nick Griffin didn't. I've been in jail, like John McVicker. I've mixed with serious criminals and been charged uh, with serious uh, offences like John McVicker. So I was aware how all this worked, whereas Nick Griffin wasn't. And that's how he wasn't able to spot what Peter Taney was up to. You see, you've got to remember, I'm a bit of an anomaly in the white nationalist movement. And my skills and knowledge enabled me to spot these people and since Taney I've spotted at least two or three dozen more who you're all familiar with so like John McVicker how he was able to see through the Barry George nonsense that he was a patsy that was a Serbian hit man and all that crap I was able to see through Peter Taney also I'd like to say that by no means am I implying John McVicker supports endorses or believes in anything I do, he doesn't. I'm just using his voice, uh, his book, sorry. I'm just using his uh, book, his criminal knowledge, his criminal mind, as an example of my own on how I was able to spot the agent provocateurs in the white nationalist movement. Okay, thank you. Oh, on a final note, buy Mr. McVicker's book. It's a very, very good read. Okay, thank you.